Today I thought I would make Gatsby something special for breakfast, something French. Baguette? Croissant? Hey Gatsby! Oh. What would you like? Oh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Do you want a crepe? Crepe. 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 You know. We can make it any style we want, Gatsby. What kind of style do you want? Ah, okay. But first, I gotta go and get the ingredients. Okay, Gatsby, I went to the supermarket. I got everything that you said you wanted. For crepes, we need eggs. So Gatsby told me he wanted two different kinds of crepes, a sweet crepe and a savory one. For the sweet crepe, he wants to do a peanut butter and banana coconut cream crepe, made only with peanuts, that's very important. Bananas, unsweetened coconut cream to make it a banana cream. And for his savory one, he wants to do a steak and eggs crepe. It's sliced very thinly already. We went to the Asian market to get that. Mozzarella cheese, some parsley here. That sounds pretty good. Did I do a good job, Gatsby? <laughs> you ready for this? He's like, I'm ready! Let's begin. We're gonna preheat the oven to 350 degrees. You'll see why later. In order to make the crepes, we need to heat up some butter and some milk. We're doing one cup of milk and three tablespoons of butter. Next, we'll sear the steak. Look at that marbling. <laughs> Melted, warm, ready to make the batter? Let's do it. We are going to do it inside of the blender because it's a lot easier to clean. One half cup of room temperature water, one cup of our warm milk, four full large eggs. Then we add our melted butter, that separated, a cup of all-purpose flour, and a tiny pinch of salt. There we go. I have not made crepes in a very long time. From what I can remember, the first one always never turns out. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter. Quarter of a cup, there it goes. We wait a little bit, it's ready. It looks like a really, really thin pancake. Beautiful. Oh. Here are some crepe tips I just learned from doing it many times. The first few are trial and error because you're trying to figure out the ideal heat for the pan. Next, make sure when you pour the batter, you're pouring it all around the pan because immediately when it hits the pan, it starts cooking. Tilt the pan so that the batter is evenly distributed. You only get a few seconds. Once you notice that the batter is no longer liquid and the edges are a little bit crispy, that's when you can use a thin spatula to scrape the edges and flip over the crepe. Look at these delicious crepes, Gatsby. So we have some parchment paper. We stick the crepes on here. Then some mozzarella cheese. We gotta pay the cheese tax. <laughs> We're gonna make a little hole in the center. To make it easier for Gatsby to eat, I'm gonna just do slices. Next, we're gonna crack the egg into the center, and then we fold the edges in. All right, there we go. And then we stick this in the oven for seven to 10 minutes. We're gonna chop up some parsley to garnish it with. Take this out. We'll let these cool down for a little bit. Coconut cream, and we have peanut butter. When you give peanut butter to dogs, you have to be very careful because you wanna give 100% peanuts, not any other kind of nuts, because dogs can't have almonds. Spread that on. We're only gonna do it one half of the crepe because the other side is gonna get folded over. Unsweetened coconut cream, it should just basically be coconut, that's it, that's the only ingredient. Banana time, flip it over, and we'll flip it over one more time. Ta da! Check those out. Those look delicious. So we got some sweet and some savory. Ooh. Are you ready for your dog friendly crepes? I'm gonna slice this up for Gatsby so he can eat it a little bit easier. Guess me, which one is your favorite, the sweet or the savory one? It's time for me to try mine. The only difference that I did was I added some salt to mine. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's good. So crepe is definitely different from a pancake. It's like way thinner, it's still really fluffy. The Wagyu beef complements the egginess of the crepe like super well. Good job. The banana one, I just put a little bit of maple syrup and then put salt. Oh, that one's good too. Oh, so good. He's hiding. He's like, I don't want to. I don't want to see that. You had two crepes, Gatsby. That was a lot. <laughs> In the end, I think Gatsby liked the savory one. He went for that one first, and he ate the whole thing. I like the sweet one. We like different things. He's like, I'll eat your savory one, and you can have my sweet one. <laughs>
No, the savory one is super good too. I would have to say that was a huge thumbs up for me and Gatsby. If you guys enjoy all these cooking videos I do with Gatsby, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, it's time for us to start the vlog. Reflexes. So I was just watching this video by Ben Jordan. Did you know that dogs perceive time in slow motion relatively to humans? Yeah, Gatsby. To a dog, we are moving in slow motion. It makes a lot of sense because Gatsby seems to have like ridiculously fast reflexes. So everything that we do with our dogs, we're actually moving super slow to them. You know how dogs age faster than humans? I think that's connected. Cats perceive time closer to humans, but still in slow motion. And so that's why when we have to make them wait, it is actually like way longer for them than it is for us. You just have to wait like a few seconds, but for a dog, that few seconds is way longer. I thought that video was really cool, and so I will put a link to that video in the description below. I thought I would give you guys a quick saltwater aquarium update. Check out the hermit crab. The green things are his eyes there. Why would you want a hermit crab in your tank? Because they're part of the cleanup crew in your tank. That guy's just relaxing. Check out the snail cleaning the glass. I just noticed that something really bad has been growing in the tank. Bubble algae. Uh-oh, that's pretty bad. See this green stuff here? And over there, there's lots in the back there. It's very hard to get rid of. My friend suggested I try marine razor. Have any of you guys tried this before? Add one half cap full for the first day. I don't know why I smelled that. <laughs> Tank. Okay, we'll see in the next video if it did anything. I'm trying to do my stretches right now, and Gatsby is kind of like, Hello, sir. Hello. I'm on my foam roller right now. Oh, yes. Headed over to the gym right now. Gonna hit some back. Gonna share with you guys my back workout routine for today. Let's get started. I've been seeing quite a lot of back gains recently and I think it's just because I finally got the mind-muscle connection which is like the most important thing. That was like the main thing that I've been working on while I was taking care of Gatsby is just trying to take care of myself as well. Okay, let's get on with the day. Oh, there he is. When I get home, I take my supplements but I also give Gatsby his daily treat. He's like, oh my gosh, is it treat time? A few people asked in my last video, if you're trying to get your corgi to lose weight, what kind of treats can you give them? One ingredient, chicken breast. You can do like jerky or freeze dried. You don't want to do too many like biscuits. I showed you guys in the last video, I did. Just food for dogs. It's only chicken breast, that's it. Canine Naturals, they have one ingredient stuff like beef tripe. Trader Joe's brand, it's only one ingredient, deboned chicken. They also have a freeze dried version I saw. Right now we're giving him this because he likes this one the most, right? Yes. Get one piece. They look like this. I just break up the treat and then hide it. Here you go. Let's hide the rest. Now let's see how fast he can find them. Okay. He's looking. He's looking. Where's the other treats? He's like, where did they go? Where'd they go? There's one there. Up there. <laughs> look over here. Good boy. He found it! Good boy. All right, so I'm making my post-workout shake. I gotta drink this really fast because I am meeting my friend Matt for lunch. <sighs> I am here with Matt. We are gonna get sushi. 
This is called the lover's boat. Look at my boat, dude. Look, Look at that boat. boat. It's more like a raft. It's like flying away. Yeah, it's like throwing away. <laughs> mm, Matt is, is my sushi buddy. You gotta get sushi. So what do you got? My favorite is uh, tuna. Yeah, it's probably so, these ones. Not, yeah. I don't really care for salmon that much. The rest of our food came. <laughs> what is this? The dragon roll? Spider roll? I guess it's a spider roll. I got tonkatsu. And then we got tempura also. We got everything. How is it? It's pretty good. Oh, okay. It's, it's not my kind. <laughs> We're done. We survived. Did it, you guys. We did it. Gatsby, I'm back. Hello. So if you guys wanted an update on Gatsby's surgery, how it went, stitches are pretty much all gone. They're all healed, Gatsby. Congratulations. His fur is slowly growing back. Remember before it was just like all skin. His energy level is back to normal. Everything's going pretty well with him right now. And you have such nice shiny fur on the top. We got some more packages. Should we open it? Kelly from Magnolia, Texas. Hi Ryan, I made you this little Gatsby. Thank you, Kelly. It does look like Gatsby. You got the colors correct. From Camila. Thanks, Camila. I remember she says she works at Holista Pet. There you go. So we got this from Roxy from Arkansas. <laughs> got a card. Oh my gosh, I love this card. Doggy toys, look at all these. <laughs> Bone broth recipe dog treats. Thank you so much, Roxy. Oh, sorry, Roxy and Jill. You're so lucky to have such wonderful fans. Okay, so for today's walk, Gatsby is gonna choose the music we're gonna listen to. Gatsby, what song are we gonna listen to? He's like, oh my gosh, I get to choose the song? I got this for Gatsby a while ago. You just put some warm water inside and it cleans their paws. Yeah, good boy. And then you can throw out the dirty water. So I use this when Gatsby's feet are extra dirty, even when the wipes wouldn't really do too much. I do have a list of all the products that we use in the description below. Fresh paws. Doing the inventory right now for all the merchandise in our Corgi on Fleek store. I just noticed that a lot of it is not in the store. It says it's sold out. There's like random shirts in random sizes. Also Christmas. T-shirts and even an emblem shirt here. You, of course, you are welcome to grab anything that's there. First come, first serve. I am working on new merchandise. I usually release new merchandise in March. That <laughs> did not happen this year. Merchandise is a lot of work and it requires a lot of planning. In January and February, I was dealing with uh, Gatsby's adrenal cancer. I'm aiming for mid-April, so in like two weeks, I'll give you a sneak peek right now, I thought. The only thing that came so far is the zipper pouches. This one, and this one, and this one here. And I've been working on a new design too for a shirt. You ready to see it? Here it is. Ta-da! So that's the new design that I've been working on. Um, and there will be some restocks of some old shirts too. And there's gonna be, of course, new merchandise coming out. Oh, and the plushes should be back in stock. By the way, I wanna thank these awesome fans right over here for buying some Corgi on Fleek merchandise and tagging us. Hashtag Corgi on Fleek. Make sure when you get your merchandise to tag us. All the money is going towards Gatsby's surgery and his care. So thank you so much, you guys. I really appreciate it. Oh, hello, Gatsby. Look at that sploot, though. You look like a puppy again, Gatsby. I'm gonna try this out. I wonder if it's any good. Rayos meatballs and pasta sauce. All you have to do is just microwave it for nine minutes. We'll see how good it turns out. Other than that, boiling some pasta water. Pasta from Costco. Okay, that should be good. Still going. Gatsby has a new bowl here. And that's because I broke his old one. I was feeding his food and I dropped it. I haven't made pasta in years. I've actually been on a pretty strict diet. Pretty much I've just been eating meal prep food. This is what I've just been eating every day. <laughs> chicken, rice, and vegetables. Eight ounces of chicken, which is quite a lot. I have been seeing really good results. I think the meatballs are done. It comes with six meatballs here. Ooh, yum. Pasta water. I don't think I have enough sauce. This is not enough for all the noodles that I have. Bam! Oh, delicious. Oh, it's not for you, dude. 
Not bad. I've had other microwavable meatballs before, like in the frozen section. This one's better than that. The meatballs are juicy, it's not dry, they're very tender. Yeah. Feels like somebody actually like rolled them up and, and made them. If someone said, I made meatballs and they served me this, I don't think I would be able to tell that it was not homemade. It definitely tastes a lot more pork based than beef. I liked it. Would I eat it again? Yes. I would buy like extra sauce to put on. If you want it more saucy, I would give it like an eight out of 10. I think I did a really good job. <laughs> I give myself a thumbs up. <laughs> okay. Bring it back, Espy. Bring it back. Good boy. Good boy. Come on, bring it back. Bring it back. Hurry. Good boy. Go. Bring it back. Bring it back. Come on, bring it back. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And in the comments below, let me know which crepe you would prefer. A sweet one, like what we did for Gatsby, bananas, cream, that was like super good. Or would you prefer a savory one, like the steak and eggs one? Are you more like Gatsby or are you more like me? <laughs> anyway, we're gonna head to bed now. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Good night.